Hey everyone, Val here, and I have my uh, weight, weekly weigh-in for you today. Um, I will admit that I weighed on Thursday morning uh, because I am getting ready to uh, go to New York to visit family for a week, and I wanted to make sure I got my weigh-in in and make sure that whatever weight I weighed in at today, I will be that way or less when I come home because as we all know it's so hard when we go on vacations to maintain our weight because there's always so much good food around especially at my sister and my family's house um, they always have a lot of good food but I want to make the right choices I want to watch what I'm eating try all the foods um, but uh, not overindulge so I am going to keep my fitness pal along with me on my phone and I'm going to record the calories I'm taking in so that I don't blow this too badly because I don't want to have a huge gain uh, like I normally do when I go on vacation have a huge gain and have to try to get all of that back off and lose all the ground that I've, I've had so far so I'm going to start out with my reading and this is from the book life is long and this is chapter 44 so <clears throat> this has some great little tips in it for healthy living and this says avoid groaning older so what's this saying okay do you dread getting older do you view each new gray hair as a red flag uh, a waving uh, if so you're not only hurting your daily mood you're hurting your lifespan According to research from Becca R. Levy, Ph.D., and her associates at Yale University, adults with positive attitudes about aging live more than seven years longer than their negative Nelly peers. So a positive attitude can actually get you farther in life, um, add years to your life. Um, negative you know your body's like you know the chapter a few chapters back where it was saying you know your mind controls a lot of things and if you think younger and act younger then you'll feel younger and um, and if you sit there and, and you're negative about getting older and every birthday is like a chore for you and oh my gosh I you know I'm gonna die soon and then you probably will because you're talking your body into it so according to these researchers, self-perceptions about aging had a greater impact on a person's lifespan than did the usual suspects like gender, socioeconomic status, loneliness levels, functional health, blood pressure, cholesterol, weight, and smoking status. So basically, your self-perception about aging can become a self-fulfilling prophecy. So you think it? then it'll probably happen um, so it's your choice so number one you can be negative self perceptions about aging and diminish your life expectancy or number two you can be positive self perceptions about aging and prolong your life expectancy so which choice are you gonna make um, what choice do you normally make are you normally okay with aging or do you normally kind of grumble about it and um, think that okay I'm older I'm not supposed to be able to walk right I'm supposed to be having health issues I'm supposed to be doing this and that um, if you believe that it's probably gonna happen um, I can tell you I just turned 61 years old um, I'm okay with that uh, I don't I'm not on any prescription medicine I don't have blood pressure pressure issues I don't have cholesterol issues and I never have um, every time they test my blood pressure or anything they always tell me oh my gosh I can't believe how great your blood pressure is but that's a normal reading for me um, I don't have those health issues knock on wood I have a positive a positive thought about aging and I don't think that I, I'm going to ever need blood pressure or any other kind of medicines now I do know diabetes runs in my family so I do have to watch my weight and that's only one other thing that's going to keep me healthy so that I can get around and do more things like hiking and fishing and going on cruises and scuba diving and all those other things I love to do so uh, I'm going to I'm going to really keep working on my weight with my fitness pal um, helping me along. So um, 
that's how I view it. I, I view it with a positive attitude. I am not dreading aging. I'm uh, just, I'm embracing it and I'm going to get better with age. So let me know how you think about it. So now to the, how did I do? Okay. Um, last week I weighed in at 195.8 and like I said, it's Thursday when I'm weighing in this week because I, I am leaving on vacation. So, um, I had to get the weigh in done so that I can upload it and have it scheduled to go out on Saturday. Um, this morning I weighed in at 195. So yes, I lost weight again. So I am, uh, I have a loss of 0.8, which I'm very happy about because I have been having 0 0.4, 0 0.3, 0 0.6. At one week I stayed the same, but the last six weeks I have been either staying the same or losing. This is the biggest loss I think yet. It's a 0 0.8. I'm happy with it. I'll take it. I'm going to go up to New York at 195 and hope that I will return um, at 195 or less. So uh, let's see how I do. Um, I know that they're going to have good food, so I'm going to have to be strong. Um, so I weigh my my highest weight when I started doing this was 211. Um, I'm at 195. That's 11, uh, 16 pounds. 16 pound loss so far this year. I'll take that. I'm happy with that. I'm going to keep on going. And um, thank you all for your support on this. I know that uh, a couple people out there are struggling right now. We're going into summer. Summer is going to be a tough time. I'm going to go into a collab with Sandy over at Life with Sandy who is struggling with her weight right now. And uh, we're going to do a collab on how to keep the weight off in the summer. So that will be coming out somewhere around the 21st. I've got some uh, little articles that I'm going to use as my five tips. And uh, everybody that's going to be in the collab will be listed. So you can check out everybody's tips if you are struggling with your weight and you think you're going to be struggling through the summer. Um, watch all the tip videos. I'm going to watch them all to see if I can get any tips because I know summers are tough. Um, holidays are tough because of all the food and over the holidays, but, um, we're going to be here for each other. I'm here for you, Sandy. So if you need anything, just let me know. Um, anybody else, the same thing. Let me know if you need anything, um, any, any support in any way. So now I have to get my work finished so that I can go on vacation. Um, this is my last day of work tomorrow I am on vacation so thank you all for watching uh, let me get to work <laughs> give me a thumbs up subscribe if you're not subscribed and you want to and uh, let me know how you're doing on your fitness journey thank you all for watching bye now mm -hmm.